So Sonic Superstars. It's a game that um definitely exists. I was never really a fan of Sonic, and I know that little string of words is probably going to make every Sonic fan in existence want my head on a spike, but it's just true, I never liked the blue blur. I just never saw the whole gimmick of going fast all too interesting, where I could literally just tilt the D-pad and press one button, like any other game. But I'm not going to lie and say this franchise doesn't have a lot of fans, because it does even if those fans are really defensive. But this video isn't about Superstars itself. You could watch a million videos saying that it's pretty mediocre. What I'm gonna talk about is the soundtrack, which is also pretty mediocre, and in some cases just bad. If there's one thing Sonic games get right, it's the music. Even if everything else is awful, the music is basically the one thing that's always on point. However, that doesn't apply to this game. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say the entire soundtrack is awful, because it isn't. There are a lot of good songs, like the one I'm playing in this video. It's amazing, I love it. It's probably my favorite song from the soundtrack. But, for every Bridge Island Zone Act 2, there's the boss theme. I kid you not, for a AAA game released in 2023, this is a real boss theme. And I know some people may say, oh, it's inspired by the Sega Genesis games, but even for that, it doesn't even sound that good. It sounds like a Sega Genesis got taped to a basketball during a final. Or during that one slam dunk meme. And while not every song in this soundtrack sounds like that, a good amount of them do, like the Fang the Hunter boss theme, I mean, take a listen. Sounds like an overconfident Gen 5 rival theme. Not a Sonic boss theme. And sometimes you just get complete song whiplash, like that god-awful boss theme. Yeah, this is what plays right after. And then there's Press Factory. Also, this song is apparently ungodly loud in game. Now, you may say that I'm over-exaggerating, and honestly, I totally am. But for Sonic games, this music just doesn't hit. And the main culprit for all of this is a man called Jon Snow. Sloan. I'm just gonna call him Jon. He's the guy responsible for the boss theme and all the Sega Genesis sounding themes, which are kinda mediocre, but he can make good music. He's mainly a guitarist, so would you guess that the one song he made that is actually kinda good is with his guitar? I mean, I don't like it that much, but it's much better compared to the other stuff. And that's really all I wanted to talk about. I know this entire video is essentially just listening to music and I didn't really like how it turned out. But I mean, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. And yeah, see you on the next one.